What's up, you guys? This is Civil Disobedience bringing you the latest in celebrity news. I want you guys to leave that thumbs up. Make sure you leave your thoughts and opinions below. And subscribe to Petty as Hell the Bell and hit that notification button. So Harvey Weinstein was found guilty of two counts of sexual misconduct. Um, they weren't the highest crimes that he could be charged with, according to the New York Times. But he was found guilty of two counts of uh, criminal sexual assault against two of the women who are accusing him and i just find it very mind-boggling that this has happened basically without much press coverage and i want to know what you guys think about that you know especially when you take into account his relationship with oprah winfrey the fact that they share a current relationship and the fact that Oprah specifically and her friend Gail have targeted black men who have been accused of sexual misconduct but their very own friend that we see here Harvey Weinstein has been found guilty and we don't hear a peep not a chirp not a burp from Oprah or Gail. And I'm just like, what's up, Oprah? You know, we're making documentaries on unfounded charges against Michael Jackson. We are doing interviews on CBS against the late Kobe Bryant, um, bringing up accusations of sexual misconduct that were thrown out of court. That the victim herself was not willing to pursue because she saw that her own story being so full of holes would definitely shoot down her own credibility. However, here we have a person who was able to have enough evidence found against him that he was found guilty on two counts in one trial. And we don't even have... A statement from Oprah about the shock, the the dismay of a friend being able to fool her, knowing that this was something that he was doing. Now, in case you didn't know, Oprah recently starred in one of Harvey Weinstein's movies, which was The Butler. And this movie specifically was one that she participated in producing. In fact, she played a major part in a lot of Weinstein's movies. Not in the sense of producing, not in the sense of, but just as a confidant, you know, a sounding board, someone for him to speak with, someone for him to talk to. And so in that sense, I was just hoping, you know, maybe Gail King wanted to sit Oprah down and give us that exclusive one-on-one, -on -one, a friend of a friend, interviewing her friend about this friend who was found guilty of sexual misconduct. However, we don't have that. So what do you guys think? Do you think that they owe us a definite documentary at least a, a new segment a statement now this young lady here her name is Kadian Noble and she's a British actress who accused Harvey Weinstein and specifically said that seeing Oprah on Harvey Weinstein's arm at several different galas influenced her decision to deal professionally with Weinstein. She says that a sexual relationship ensued and it was not to her liking. She basically felt intimidated. So as Gail and Oprah are hearing things like this, if you're so compelled to speak out against the wrongs done to women, how do you hear a woman say, how do you hear Miss Noble say, I was influenced by the fact that Harvey Weinstein had Oprah Winfrey on his arm at these events. 
and that helped to propel me into a business relationship with ult which ultimately turned into something that I didn't want. Now we got a whole documentary on this with Lifetime. Okay? And I'm just wondering where is the love for the women that were abused by Harvey Weinstein? Why does he get a pass? Okay? Maybe it's because he's Oprah and Gail's friend. Okay, now we know the relationship between Oprah and Gail is pretty much legendary. We can see it as a legacy for many women to follow. Someone you've known for years, you could be friends through thick and thin. And I definitely agree with the sisterhood that I see between them. However, I do not like the one sided, biased, prejudicial way. These two women attack black men, Russell Simmons, um, R. Kelly, Michael Jackson. However, you have absolutely no words for Harvey Weinstein. So how are we supposed to be able to trust your judgment? Okay, how are we supposed to be able to trust you, Oprah and Gail, to bring us current news affecting women when your friend can get a pass? Recently, we talked about Gail's interview with Lisa Leslie and how Gail was just totally and completely out of line for even bringing up the situation with Kobe Bryant being deceased about his sexual uh, allegations which were thrown out of court which he has proven time and time again he has improved from that person okay so we see where gail sits lisa down she wants to talk to lisa about her deceased friend this man is still alive where's the interview gail when are we going to see you sit oprah down when are we going to hear you ask her the hard questions like you mean to tell me you didn't know anything about his sexual misconduct? You mean to tell me you didn't know that these are the accusations surrounding your friend? What type of person was he to you? How did he treat you? We all felt the blow. I know I did when I saw Lisa Leslie's face. That's something I'll never get over or forget. And in journalism, if you're going to call yourself a true journalist, you should get into the meat up and potatoes of the story, even with your own close friends and loved ones. I would like to see an exclusive with Gail interviewing Harvey, specifically for CBS, his wife, his friends, Oprah. I would like to see her shoot a documentary. Just basically highlighting the history between her and Harvey Weinstein and how she has been feeling and how she feels knowing that he has been found guilty. So what do you guys think? I want you to let me know. Leave your opinions. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe and that notification bell. This is Sylvia.